What's in your hand? It's a frog I caught. <laughs> Sophia Marie Edwards, if you touch me with that frog, I will scream. I know you will, CJ. That's the whole point. <laughs> you got to toughen up. No, I'll never do it. One day you will. No. Boys are like you. And if he does ask me to be his girlfriend, I don't know what I'll do. But I'll say no. That's for sure. You told me he thought he was cute. Did not. Did too. No, you did not, did not. <laughs> we should go see Grandpa after we eat. Yeah, maybe he can take us fishing. I bet you I can catch a bigger fish. Highly doubtful. Oh, I almost forgot. Dear Lord, protect us from the flies. Give us clear skies. Watch over us with your eyes. And may our hearts be your prize. Amen. Amen. <laughs> If you could meet anyone, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Um, Ricky Mitchell. Wait. Ricky Mitchell from science class? You could meet him, like, in the cafeteria when school started back up. That doesn't count. You're really bad at this. What? You said anyone living or dead. I meant, like, the president or Mozart. People like that. I don't play the piano. Why would I want to meet Mozart? I don't know. That was just an example. You really are bad at this. <laughs> can't believe you have to move. I know. Why does my dad need this stupid promotion anyway? Did you tell them that you didn't want to go? Of course I did, so. They're like, blah, blah, blah. This is the best for everyone in this family. My vote counts for basically nothing. You know that. You can live in with me. Our guest room's just full of my mom's old sewing junk anyway, and she hasn't sewn anything since, like, our middle school play. Hmm. Yeah, but they never go for it. My parents are obsessed with this fancy new private high school. It's like two blocks from our house. I'll be just another prep school Chris before you know it. No way, Catherine Jean Johnson, I know you. You will never be a prep school Chris. You're not snotty enough. And you bite your fingernails. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No matter what, you're still my best friend. No manicure or school uniforms ever gonna change that. Ew, you didn't tell me you had to wear a uniform? Just how rich is your dad going to be once he starts his new promotion? Mm. Doesn't matter anyway. Nothing's really going to change. CJ, are you okay? Hey, Maggie. Yeah, I'm fine. I was just, just thinking. Some pretty deep thinking. You're like a million miles away. Have you seen Kayla around? Four days of freedom. <laughs> just let me get my bag. I thought you'd be gone already. I haven't even packed yet. Well, what's up? I thought you were excited about your trip. Yeah. No, I, I am. I just... <laughs> Do you have that one friend you just grew apart from? Yeah, from high school, I guess. Sophia was my BFF since, like, kindergarten. I don't know. I just... I moved to the city senior year, and... It's been a while, I guess. You can carry on a two-hour conversation with the janitor. I'm sure you'll still have plenty to talk about. No, I'm not kidding. She's done that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's not exactly me that I'm worried about. <laughs> right on cue. I'm sure it'll be fine. Happy fall break. See you, CJ. Please tell me you found a way out of this. All packed? Yes, my finest flannel and boots, courtesy of my mother. So hot. Mm, I can't wait. 
If you post a single photo of me this weekend, you're dead. Don't worry. There's no service anyway. Great. Look, Catherine, are you sure this cabin thing is a good idea? It'll be fine. Sophia and I used to spend every summer at this cabin. The worst thing that ever happened was sunburns and mosquito bites. Yeah, but you said that was before her grandfather, you know. Wow, settle. I get it. Fall break in a cabin sounds beyond lame, but Sophia's been begging me to come out. I feel like I kind of owe it to her. Anyway, let's be real. We don't have the money to go anywhere else. Maybe you don't. But the only reason I'm not cruising the Caribbean with Robbie and Jess is because I have a cross-country meet the day they dock in Nassau. So, no offense, but this trip is like second choice. Or last choice, depending on what my options are. Fair enough. Hey, Jocelyn's buzzing in. Gotta go. I'll meet you in the quad at noon. You can thank me later. Bye. Chick is late, Catherine. I know. She'll be here any minute, I'm sure. Why does she want to meet us here anyway? Doesn't she live, like, where we're going? I'm sure she just wanted to meet us here to make sure I didn't bail. So, should we? <laughs> what, bail? <laughs> no. No, no, no. She'll be here. Well, could you at least tell us a little bit about Sophia? Be nice to make small talk. Speak for yourself. Because I would prefer not to be rude, like Amber. But everyone wants to be like Amber. <laughs> oh, don't tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but seriously, I hate to say it, but Sophia and I have kind of been out of touch since I moved away. Last I knew, she was working at a grocery store in our hometown. Aren't you glad you asked? You'll have so much in common. What? Everybody's got to have a few odd jobs, right? I worked fast food all summer before I came to college, didn't you guys? Ugh. <laughs> okay, well, regardless of her current job status, Sophie's always been really fun. She likes nature and hiking and... And she's here. You're kidding, right? Sorry I'm late. This campus is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, it's so good to see you. It's been way too long. I know, it's been crazy and super busy. Um, Sophia, these are my friends, Amber and Jocelyn. Amber lives in my dorm across the hall. She kind of showed me the ropes. And you can thank me for that, or you would have ended up with those drama club weirdos. Hey, I did drama club. It wasn't that bad. My point exactly. Okay, well, uh, we should get going, right? Three hour drive? This is gonna be a great weekend. I know it. These are the days that fly by when you're not looking. Don't wanna waste it. I'm not your night spent alone again. We are different, stuck in a small town, haven't left just. So I feel so out of the loop. Did you end up taking those classes from the community college like you talked about? I tried it. It wasn't for me. I figured my time was better spent working, trying to help my family out since my dad's still out of work. So Flip, I really am sorry about your grandfather. I wanted to make it to the funeral, but school just started. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it, really. Grandpa will just be watching us from above all weekend.
Wow, I'm surprised. I hardly recognize this area. Well, it has been over two years. You'll take that next left over the hill. That's it up there. This is the joke stop, right? And then we'll drive like a mile up the road and there'll be streaming channels and a hot tub. She's just kidding. I know it doesn't look like much, but I love it here. Looks like a shed. Wow, this place hasn't changed a bit. I know. I know I've said it like 85 times, but seriously, thanks for making this work. Yeah. It's been too long and it's good to be sure. here. Hope they feel the same way. Sophia. Did your grandpa die in this cabin? <laughs> no. no. Although, he did always say it was haunted. <laughs> Kidding. Gosh, you guys cannot be this easy all weekend. When did you say was the last time you were here? Uh, during the summer, I guess. Hmm. They must have just covered everything when it started getting colder. Who's they? Um, guys. Maybe it's just burnt out. Maybe a little squirrel came in and unscrewed every light bulb. Soph? I'll check the breaker. CJ. It was a little noise. A little noise? It sounded like a bowling ball was trying to break through the ceiling. Guys, it's a creaky old cabin. I'm sure it's nothing. Not it. We should go check it out. trouble with this old door. I don't remember you being so jumpy. I don't remember this place being so creepy. The only noise we used to hear up here was your grandpa's old country albums on repeat. Well, I guess that's what moving to the big city will do to you. Yeah, I'm a city girl now. Come on, Amber and Jocelyn are probably halfway back to that big city by now. Fine by me. So, when you invited me up here, I told you I'd already planned on spending fall break with them, okay? They're basically doing me a favor by coming here. Well, great. Thanks for humoring me. You know what I mean. I'm here because I'm your friend. And they're here because they're my friends, so we've all got something in common, okay? Whatever you say.
more guy. CJ and I were with Grandpa when we got that guy. Ten point buck. He was really proud. Catherine! Amber's a vegetarian. The deer population gets too high in this area. They encourage hunters to kill and use for food. I'm sorry. All I could hear was kill, 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 kill. It's not like I pulled the trigger. Yeah, Catherine wasn't a good enough shot. So do all of these animals just run wild on the property? Yeah. Deer, quail, raccoons, coyotes, cougars. As in mountain lions? Well, you never told me that. We never actually saw one. But then one day, one of Grandpa's baby goats went missing without a trace. And every now and then, we would hear these cries. Guys, she's just messing with you. <laughs> Suppose you're going to tell us Bigfoot's running around out there, too. Why don't you see for yourselves? We'll show you around our stumping grounds. Not a Sasquatch inside. It's so hard to stay on top of the world When the world keeps telling you who you should be All these people telling you what you need Oh, it's not what I had in mind when she said keep me, but I'm going to take a picture. Let me keep feel better. Pay attention now, I ain't okay, going to stop it, stop it. <clears throat> One, Honey, two, everything three. you need is in your pocket. Okay, even you have to admit, this is pretty cool. Wow. Can you believe we used to swim in there? Oh, it's not that bad. So, that water is greener than grass. <laughs> if I could go back and tell 12-year-old me one thing, it would be to stay out of that lake. We're lucky we didn't catch gangrene or some sort of flesh-eating bacteria. <laughs> you know, Sophia, she's right. Brain-eating amoebas live in still water like that. Don't be ridiculous. I'm serious. <laughs> I saw on an episode of Modern Hospital, some lady was on the second day of her honeymoon in Utah, and a little water gets up her nose. You think, no big deal, right? Wrong. Two days later, her head is pounding, her ears are bleeding, Ew. and her... Okay, okay, we get the picture. I just can't believe Jocelyn thinks I would make something like that up. 
I've seen every episode of Modern Hospital. Seriously, ask me like any medical question. I'm practically an MD. Really? Where did you get your degree from? <laughs> oh, wouldn't you like to know, Jocelyn? Yes, I would like to know, Amber. Just because I know something more than you. Shh, guys, hold still a minute. I think I see something. Something's out there. Okay, guys, wait. It's just all this lions, tigers, and bears talk. Just got us freaked out. Come on, guys, follow me. There, there's more to see. Watch out, Amber. Those amoebas are crawling up your back <laughs> as we speak. Oh! Hey, good thing she had all that medical training. Right? <laughs> you guys are the worst. Like, literally, I need new friends. Hey, Soph. Do you know where we are? I know it's been a while, but this area doesn't look familiar. Well, yeah. Hey, what is that? I definitely don't remember seeing this before. Well, I have seen this movie and it didn't end well. Hey, nature girl, you don't know what could be in there. She's right. Are we even still on your grandpa's land? It's hard to say, it's over 150 acres. So even though we've explored this property every summer for like eight years, there's no way we could have covered every inch. And even if you had, this may not be it. We could be trespassing. I can't have that on my record. I already have like 14 speeding tickets. We're not breaking and entering, Amber. Just doing a little exploring. Still, don't you think we've gone a little too far? No. Yeah, you're right. I grew up here, so I guess I'm just more comfortable. Sorry, guys. It's getting dark anyway. Follow me, I think I know which trail will lead us back. So, Amber, what does a vegetarian hot dog taste like anyway? Probably not much different from a real hot dog. There's hardly any actual meat in these things. Some of that gourmet rodent blend. Oh, hey, ew. <laughs> you know what? This veggie dog has 65 calories and is like 0% trans fat. And I have a cross country meet on Monday, so. Oh, yeah. Hey, remind us again, what is it you have going on on Monday? A cross country meet. Jocelyn! <laughs> Well, uh, my artery clogger is done. Grab the buns, Jocelyn. Thank you. Okay, before we eat, CJ, do you remember that prayer that we made up? Mm, not sure. Come on, you totally do. It was like our camping prayer from when we came out here together. Dear Lord, protect us from the flies. Give us clear skies. Watch over us with your eyes. Well, now we know where CJ got that English scholarship from. <laughs> Sorry, so it's just been a long time. I don't remember. When you do remember it, I'd love to hear how it ends. The suspense is killing me. You're one to talk. What was the grade you got on your last term paper again? D minus. What was that? Jocelyn, why am I always the butt of your jokes? Like, seriously, is it a jealousy Since when do you think, think it's so uncool to say a prayer? You said it was uncool. Every single cross country meet, you shouldn't like, have to. Ever. I might care if I cared about cross country. Whatever. So, does anyone know any scary stories? What is this, Girl Scout camp? Yeah, right. They definitely don't have vegetarian hot dogs at Girl Scout camp. Fine, then. I know one. Listen up, ladies. There were four girls on a camping trip. Oh, really? That's really original. Hush, I'm serious. That's how the story goes, okay? 
<clears throat> so, four girls are on a camping trip. I think it's for like a bachelorette party or something. Anyway, they have all of their tents and gear and they hike like a mile into the woods. They're slow, definitely not trained in cross country and it takes them like forever. By the time they get to the area where they're gonna be camping, it's already dark. And they only have a few flashlights. So they try to set up camp without really being able to see where they are. They think everything is fine. So they decide to settle in for the night. But then, as they try to go to sleep, they hear sounds. Scratching on the edge of their tents, digging from underneath their sleeping bags. And then, as the night goes on, strange, painful cries from deep in the woods, unmistakable sounds of terror, cries of pain, sounds they would never forget. Sounds that, ah, and they woke up to find they're on top of four graves. Can we go inside now? You guys can go inside. I'll get the fire put out. Thank you. Bye. I'll be right there. I can give you a hand. Okay, I vote for a slumber party in the living room. I'm not sleeping alone in this creepy place. Oh, what? What's wrong? As if we weren't cut off from civilization before, 3% battery. Well, you were playing music all night. What do you expect? Um, I don't know. Maybe I expected electricity. Well, I guess you're just too needy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Go inside. I'll be right there. Okay. Sorry about earlier. Amber and Jocelyn, I just don't really know them that well yet. I don't really want them to hear embarrassing stories about games we used to play when we were like 12. Well, I didn't think it was an embarrassing story and I sure didn't think it was a game. I suppose I shouldn't tell them that we went to church camp together or that I was there when you got baptized in the lake. No, look, that's not what I meant. I just- It's fine. Don't worry about it. I won't say anything to embarrass you in front of your cool new college friends. I don't know if I can sleep with these things staring at me. They all know they were killed for food. Well, except maybe that one. <laughs> don't worry, they don't bite. I think I could sleep even if one of those things crawled under my blanket with me. Ew, don't say that. Ooh. CJ, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine, just tired. Gotta get rested up for tomorrow. Well, I hope you're not afraid of the dark, Amber. <laughs> Much more afraid of what's in the dark in the woods, in this cabin, under my blanket. <laughs> well, uh, 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 <laughs> Jocelyn, you said you were tired. Do not mess with me. But you make it so easy. Oh, you're so annoying. <laughs>
Amber. Amber. Guys. Guys, wake up. What's up? Amber's gone. What? I'm sure she's just in the bathroom. No, she's not here. Amber! Amber! She's gone and the door's open. Didn't you lock it when you came in last night? Um, I'm sure it's nothing, okay? We'll find her. You're not supposed to be here. I'm sorry, sir. We're just staying in a friend's cabin. They must have taken the wrong trail. This is my land. I understand. I'll go back right now. I know what city folk like you want to do to this land. Buy it up, build your shopping malls and parking lots. No, sir, we're just taking a trip for the weekend. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I went the wrong way, OK? This is my land. I understand. You don't want it. OK, I'm leaving. You tell them that. You don't want it. It's not safe for you. You're not safe on this land. Amber? 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 Guys! What happened? Where were you? I just went for a run. I was on the trail when this crazy, dirty guy came out of nowhere. What? What guy? What did he do? He said we're on his land. He had a gun. Well, he's probably just a hunter or something. I told you my grandpa used to hunt out here all the time. No, he just kept saying that we we're on his land. And I said, no, we're staying at Sophia's grandfather's cabin. He said it wasn't safe here. He really freaked me out. Emma, I'm so sorry. You should go talk to him. Explain why we're here so we don't have to worry about him coming back. Come on, let's go get something to eat. So, don't you think we need to do something about this? CJ, can I talk to you a second? What? Just, can I just talk to you a second? Alone? What's the big deal? You're the one who thinks this guy's just some hunter. Can't kick us off land that isn't his. Right, So, CJ. What? What's wrong? <sighs> After my grandfather died, there was no will. And they didn't know who was the rightful owner of the property, so they're auctioning it off to the highest bidder. So like your dad or your uncle are buying it? My family can't pay. We don't have that kind of money, you know that. So I guess the, the bank kind of owns it now or something, unless they've sold it to someone else. Wait, what are you saying? You're the one who said we could come here and spend the weekend that it was all taken care of. I, I knew where the key was, and I wanted to come here one last time, and I wanted to do it with you because we've spent so much time here together. I didn't think that it would matter. So we aren't supposed to be here, and that man with a gun is saying he has every right to want us off his land? Sophia, you're always flaunting what a good person, what a good Christian you are, but, but you lied to all of us and knowingly put us in danger. I didn't. It's, it's not dangerous here. I just How thought that- How could you do this? How could you lie to me like this? What were you thinking? Doesn't even matter. 
because we aren't supposed to be here. We need to leave now. CJ, please. No. You know what? You can tell Amber and Jocelyn what you've done. Don't expect me to take your side on this. Guys, get your stuff. We're leaving. What? What happened? Did Sophia talk to that guy? She can explain in the car. We just, please, we need to leave. Now. Okay, very funny. Start the car. I'm trying. Wait, whose phone is this? Oh, it's mine. Amber, did you leave your phone plugged in all night? Well, yeah, there's no electricity in the house. Your phone drained the battery. What? Come on, the car battery is like this big and my phone battery is like this big. How could that matter? Don't even think I'm gonna explain this to you. Okay, so the battery's dead. Big deal, you have those dumpy things, don't you? That only works if you have another car to get power from. Uh. Oh, so then this is bad. What do we do now? What do you mean we don't have permission to be here? I thought you said your grandfather- I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, okay? I, I, I messed up. You got that right. We need someone to pick us up. Does anyone have service? No. No. Jocelyn, what about your boyfriend? Does he have the address here? He's at the baseball tournament. We just planned to talk when we both got back. If we ever get back. And it's what, like 12 miles to the main road? And what would you do if you got there? Stick out your thumb and hitchhike? Oh, yeah, that sounds real safe. Just trying to think of our options here. The plateau has a clear view of the sky. And how far is that? A few miles, maybe. It depends on which trails. I'll go and I'll hike to the top and see if I can get service. And when I do, I'll call my dad or someone to come and pick us up. Are you sure that's a good idea with that guy out there? I'll be fine. Well, what about wolves and lions and Bigfoot and stuff? I've been on this property a hundred times. I'll be fine. I messed up, okay? I know that. I'll fix it. I'm really sorry. Should one of us go with her? Not it. with me. How could I be so stupid? How could I do this to the only friend that I have? Or had. Please, Lord, help us get out of this safely. Forgive me for lying and deceiving people who trusted me. What is the matter with me? It's nothing. Get out of your head. Let's get out of this safely. What if that man shows up here while we're waiting for Sophia? Like, what are we gonna do? Doesn't make sense. He clearly doesn't live in this cabin. Yeah, but if he owns the property, he knows where the cabin is. He could be out there right now, watching us, just waiting to see when we leave. Or he can be out there watching Sophia.
Hello? Hello? Just trying to get phone service. Is anyone out there? Shouldn't she have been back by now? Yeah, it's been like forever. Something's not right. I shouldn't have been so hard on her. I got frustrated and upset, and now she's out there all alone. Catherine, she lied to you. She lied to all of us. I don't think you ever reacted. Please, just call me CJ. Everyone else does. Cool. It's weird being here. Yeah, you're telling me. Yeah, I mean, besides all of this. Being here reminds me of when I was a kid. But I'm not a kid anymore. So much about me has changed, but when I'm here, I'm just confused. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. No, I think I get it. Like, until 10th grade, I had this best friend named Cecilia. Like, we cheered together for seven years, and our families were members of the same country club. But then I got into cross country, and ugh, she got this new boyfriend, Dean. And we just grew apart. So I know how it is. Sophia was your friend for a certain time in your life, but now you've changed. Maybe I haven't changed as much as I thought. Guys, come over here. You see this. Okay, tell me my eyes aren't playing tricks on me. Did I see that right? You guys, what do we do? Like, do we need to go after her? Oh, so then there are four of us defenseless against a mountain lion? But what if she's hurt? What if that's why she isn't back? Well, she did say she'd come out here every year for like ever and never seen one. Yeah, but I saw one yesterday. Jocelyn's right. It doesn't make sense for us to go out there completely defenseless. We can't help Sophia if we can't help ourselves. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still don't even know if that has anything to do with why she hasn't come back. Like, she could have just decided to walk to the road and blow us all off. No, Sophie would never do that. Look, you guys can think or say whatever you want, but there's literally only one thing I can think of to do at this moment. And if it were Sophia, I know she would do the same. Dear Lord, please look out for Sophia. She's out there somewhere trying to find us help. Forgive me for getting so upset. Please help her to know how much we care about her. Sophia's always been a true friend, and she has the biggest heart. <laughs> Protect her. Keep her safe. And bring us the help we need. Amen. Guys, I know what we need to do. Okay, would you like to fill us in on your big plan? Sophia's grandfather was a hunter, right? And all his stuff is here. 
So, there has to be a gun. I mean, there just has to be. CJ, do you even know how to use a gun? Yeah, didn't Sophia say you were a terrible shot? We don't have to hit anything. We just have to scare it off. Look, I don't have all the answers, but the least we can do is search. You guys go look downstairs. So, like, what are we doing? Just start looking over there. Getting closer. What'd you find? Bullets, no gun. <sighs> Great. Aren't you gonna ask what I found? What'd you find? Please tell me it has a trigger. Well, kind of. I don't think I even know how to use one of these things, but it's worth a try. We call 911. Does being stuck in a place where we're not supposed to be with a dead car battery warrant an emergency? Uh, does the girl that lied to us and brought us out here may have been eaten by a mountain lion warrant an emergency? Jeez, Amber, nice attitude much? There's no dial tone. What do you mean? There's an outlet. There has to be a dial tone. I mean, if I have 4G, I can certainly make a phone call. Same thing, right? Not exactly. Well, tap the line or something. There was this girl trapped in a basement on Modern Hospital, and Amber. Amber. <sighs> Look, get that you guys are mad at me but I didn't mean to kill CJ's car. I know. And you don't have to say it. I know it's partially my fault that we're stuck here like this. I'm not blaming you, Amber. Neither am I. Honestly, I don't blame Sophia either. She had no idea all this would happen. I'd never be brave enough to do what Sophia did. Hiking to the top of a hill, alone, with that guy out there? No way. I could run pretty fast and probably could have made it to the top a lot quicker than she could. But I'd never be brave enough to try. Sophia is brave. She's always been that way. She always made me believe that I could get through anything if I just said the right prayer. And she always had the right one for every situation. Like this one time, we hiked out too far, way farther than we were supposed to. Because Sophia had this crazy idea that we could catch a special type of firefly if we went to the exact right spot at the exact right time of night. So we grabbed our jars and desk fell. We caught dozens of those little guys. But then before you knew it, it was pitch black and we were out in the middle of nowhere in some field. So I started crying. I think I was the poster child for hormone changes. But 
Sophia, she made up this little prayer, something about fireflies and night skies. I knew that she had to be just as scared as I was. But we just said that prayer as we made our way through the dark. With nothing to light our path but our little jar of fireflies. Before I knew it, the cabin was in the distance. It was as if it took us an hour to get out there, but not even 10 minutes to get back. Anyway, we released the fireflies right out there. <sighs> Sophia prayed that they would light the way for anyone who was lost or scared. Sophia's okay out there, isn't she? If anyone's okay out there, then Sophia. God will keep her safe. He'll keep us safe too. from the flies. Give us clear skies. Watch over us with your eyes. If you go to the second floor and stick your arm out the window, you'll get service. Really? You think so? No, I don't. Uh, okay, so you're just trying to make me look stupid then? Why is it always about you looking stupid, Amber? Nobody is snap texting this moment. Okay. I didn't say. I think I hear something. It's probably Sophia. Maybe she got help. Sophia didn't go to the road. How'd she get help? She called someone, duh, that was the whole plan. So why isn't she back? I don't know. Do we let them in? No, we wait to see who it is. I know you're in there. Oh my gosh, that's the guy. 
What? The man from the woods that said we don't belong here and we need to leave? That's him. I have your friend. <gasps> what do we do? It's probably a trick. He's trying to get us out there. Yeah, but how would he know that Sophia isn't here? Unless... Can you hear me in there? I'm gonna go talk to him. What? Are you crazy? Maybe. No. You know what? I'm not crazy. If he has my best friend who would do anything for me, I have to do the same for her. And what if he doesn't have her? Then at least we'll know. CJ, seriously. Look, there's nothing you can say to stop me. Lock the door behind me. Where's Sophia? You need to come with me. Tell me where she is. I can go on my own. I'll show you. Friend should listen to me. I told her it wasn't safe here. Where's Sophia? Where are we? Stay here.
Jocelyn, come here. That's him. I know it is. What does this mean? Do you see the rest of the article? <sighs> Two killed, blank injured. Jocelyn, there's no telling what this man could be capable of. And CJ's out there with him alone. Not to mention Sophia. This lunatic could have two of our friends. Okay, it's a ripped photo, Amber. There's no telling what this is. not on Modern Hospital. Amber, There's, we don't have no, time just, for this. Listen, okay? There was this man. He had killed eight people and then evaded the police for years. I specifically remember that word evaded because I hadn't heard it before that episode and I looked it up. Anyway, he just went about his life hunting and fishing, living off the grid so nobody knew who he was. Until one day, he just snapped. He had to kill again, and he took out everyone in his path. Okay, okay, I get where you're going with this. Without knowing what the rest of that article says, Amber, it could be way simpler than that. Or way worse. What's going on out there? Some man. This must be his place. He told me that he had you and I had to come with him. Where is he now? I don't know. He stopped driving and ran off. Let's get you back. Can you walk? A little. There's no way I can make it all the way back. Okay, we need to find a knife or a weapon or something. in the truck. Two killed, one injured. Local Madison resident Eli Grossman will return home from Afghanistan after a bomb detonated under his convoy, killing the other two members of his team. He's not some crazy serial killer. But it sounds like he lost two of his friends. Are you touching my things? I'm sorry. I... Put your hands down. I didn't... I'm sorry, I didn't take anything. Why are you touching my things? We're, we're just trying to get back to Sophia's grandfather's cabin. What did you just say? My... My grandfather used to live out here. He, he had a farm. Daniel Aldrich was your grandfather? How do you know that? You told me he thought he was cute. Did not. Did too. No, you did not, did not. <laughs> what are you girls arguing about now? Nothing. Well, why don't you make yourselves useful then? Another one of your grandpa's goats is missing. Come help me look. Eli, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Who wants to know? <laughs> Eli? Do you remember us? Sophia and CJ? No. I saw the purple heart. Is that yours? My grandfather was a veteran, too. Did he let you stay here? I used my traps to keep the predators away. 
That line's been coming around ever since he died. That line and the bankers trying to take it all from me. We weren't trying to take anything away from you. I don't remember many things, but maybe I do remember you. Our friends are probably really worried about us. Can you just take us back to the cabin? If we get the battery jump started, we can leave right away. Sophia probably needs to go to the hospital. No. It's a dark road and it's late. You should stay at the cabin tonight. It's safer. I clean and dress the wounds. She'll be fine. Wait, we're staying here? Yeah. Practically morning anyway. It'll be fine. You okay? Yeah, just thinking what it would be like to lose two friends. How'd you sleep? Fine, I guess. <sighs> it's a really overwhelming day. Still trying to process everything. So much for fall break. How's your foot? Flesh wound. It'll be fine. Could have been a lot worse. CJ, thanks for coming after me. I messed up, and I know that. I know it's no excuse, but it was really hard on me when you moved. Then I lost my grandpa. It was like, not only had I lost him, but I lost you and all the memories that we made here. No, so the only thing that was lost was me. It took me coming up here to realize that I've lost touch with myself. And with God. So in a weird way, all this was kind of worth it. Yeah. It's a shame it'll all be gone before too long. So I almost forgot. Princess. I think it's your grandfather's will. Oh. I found it last night when I was searching for a gun. Oh. What does it say? CJ. What? The cabin and the land. He left it all to me. <sighs> Quick, help me up. Wait, what? Where are you going? Are 
you sure about this? Eli? What are you doing here? CJ found my grandfather's will. The bank doesn't own the property. He left it all to me. Congratulations. We came here because I wanted to give you this portion of the land so you can stay. You don't owe me nothing. Well, what if I gave you this land in exchange for you keeping up with the traps? Yeah. That way it's safe for us when we come back. I, uh, I suppose I could do that. over us with your eyes, and may our hearts be your prize. Amen. There, Jacob. Did you get him? I stepped on him. No, no, he's right. Oh, that's a mosquito. Do you remember us? It's CJ and Sophia. No, it's me first. <laughs> Can you please just tell me where we're going? Your friend should have listened to me. I told her it wasn't safe here. <laughs> It's not easy. <laughs> Can you please just tell me where we're going? Your friend should have listened to me. Told her it wasn't safe here. Can we? Don't go too high with them. Um... We're good? <laughs> no, really high. Oh, check the breaker. Thirty-seven. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you please just tell me where we're going? Your friend should have listened to me. I told her it wasn't safe here. I can do it. One more. <laughs> can you please just tell me where we're going? Your friend should have listened to me. I told her I wasn't safe here. You're done. You're good. <laughs> That's good. God bless. You want to do it? 
still taking an X left over the hill. Hey, <laughs> <Funny>. Lynn. <laughs> and screwed every light bulb. I looked in the totally wrong. <laughs> 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 After we eat. Yeah. I don't have any bread. <laughs> to make yourselves useful again again. Looks <laughs> like you're taking a selfie. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's shy. Picture that. And now you're just shy. shy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's on your face. Oh, get it! Woo! <laughs> we can hear them buzzing around us! Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing it on, awesome. she do on my land. <laughs> Did you hear that? You're gonna die. <laughs> it's an old truck. <laughs> oh, what is this place? Oh, oh, God, what is this place? It's everywhere. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, is he sleeping? Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Like us when you feel it.